really, really, really all of us put hands on. So first of all, we will be working on the Easter eggs called pisanki in Polish, and I think in Ukrainian it will be the same. So what we have to do, we have to have eggs, right? So one will be okay if you want to have a basket filled with eggs and for sure have a dozen or at least six of them. Now, you can have hard-boiled eggs prepared for our project. Make sure that, they, that you choose the white ones or ask your parents to go to the dollar store or to Walmart and purchase a package of dozen for, you can see the price here, $1.98. So, what I will be doing, I have to, of course, open the package. I'm really careful here not to cut myself. You can use a pair of scissors. And this will allow me to get a number of eggs. Um, those stickers are very nice, though, you know what? We are too old for it. We leave it for our younger siblings. Um, instead, we will be working on our eggs, creating the pattern with, you can see it here, with uh, highlighters and markers. And when I talk about markers, I usually mean the Sharpies. And Sharpies are good because when you create the line with them, the line will not disappear. So let us start. Uh, what we have to do, we have to pick up our egg and you have to think about the pattern. One of the very nice patterns will be the floral pattern. That means you will create some flowers. Again, some of you will like to create uh, the geometric patterns with some lines, some shapes, geometrical shapes such as, uh, such as for example, the uh, squares, uh, rectangular shapes or, or triangles and so on. I like the floral pattern. Now, um, you can start right away with the Sharpie if you think that you know what you want to do, but just in case, if you still think that maybe you will change your mind, you can start with the um, a pencil. Now, I suggest that you use HB pencil, which is the regular school pencil, usually covered with the yellow uh, paint on the top. And you know why you ha I recommend this pencil? Well, it's not a super soft pencil. So that means when you create the line with it, you see, it's, it's dark enough, but it's easy to erase it. When you use a very soft, um, uh, like 6B pencil, um, the mark will be dark. The problem only will be that it will smudge. You see the graphite, so we don't want to have it. So now what I want to do, I will think about creating something on the top and on the bottom of this egg, right? So um, I think I really like the flowers. So you see, I'm really keeping hold to this egg and now I'm going around. You don't need to be super precise. We try, of course, you see here, I'm going here around and I will create the center of the flower. So you see here, I have it. Now, from there, I can think approximately up to here. So I mark it for myself halfway of the egg here. You see here, very lightly. I don't want to have too strong lines. So why I need this particular line or circles around here? Well, I need it because I need to know how far the patterns of the flower will go. So now once I have it, then I create this vertical line here, you see, and I have one of my patterns here. Whoa, it's done. You see, I can have another one here. I can slightly cross. You see here, I have another one. Then I will have another one here. I think what it's easier to do is to start first from the center of the flower, you see, and then create the pattern here. So we are here good. You see, I make a little bit wider pattern. I really like the white one. At a certain point, I have to look here how much space I have. Do, will I have space for three patterns or will I have space for two, right? I decide for three. So that's what I'm doing here now. You see here one. I'll place the one on the side here. Two. And then I will have one perfectly in the center. Now, here is my flower. Um, I think that I want to have polka dots here. You see, perfectly in the center here. And this looks really, really cool. Now, the another thing which I want to have will be on the bottom. So you see one pattern will be here. I think I want to have here the vine. And this vine will go here and then you see, I created a little bit thicker. It will be like a stem of the flower. Good. 
this will allow me to think where I place my other flower. So the other flower will come here, the center. Ooh, it's not perfect. So you see now I will use the eraser. See, I can go with a razor here, easy peasy, you see, boom, came off. Now, the flower will be slightly different. I want to have shorter patterns here, you see, and this petal will come here, and this one will come here. Now, from there, I want to have leaves here, and maybe slightly push them on the side, you see, here, and another one of a day, it's, um, notice the direction, they go towards um, the front, right, not towards the back, and not on the same line, right? So I'm placing another one here. Ooh, this one didn't come like I wanted to, so I'm moving it here, you see? And maybe I place another one here. Again, I will use my eraser here. And then I have my drawing already established. Now, from there, I think I will go with my markers and I will choose my Sharpie of purple color here and I will go with the outlines of my patterns. So this one will be purplish. So nice purple lines will come here. You see a little bit more of it here, a little bit more here. Ooh la la, that will look good. You see what I also decided? I decided that I want to have them a little bit wider. So I can come on the top of those lines and I can make them quite thick. Another one will come here. See, you can change lots of things. When you decide that certain parts don't work the way you want to, um, you can easily go back to your drawing and change it. Or even now when I apply the marker, I still decide, make some changes, right? Decide that, oh no, this will, will be better my drawing when I will have the lines a little bit heavier, okay? Then I'm coming here. You see, and another, another petal. Ooh, it's coming. I really like it. This is quite white, but why not, right? That's our flower. So here we are, and I think I will come here on the top and create the line for the center of my flower. Now, when I have it, notice already how colorful my egg looks like here. Um, the another thing that I want to do now, I want to think about the center. Which color do I want to have in the center? And I will make the decision that I want to have pink here. So uh, maybe no, maybe pink here will come. See, so I'm coming with the pink inside of the uh, shapes created with purple line. So this is the shape. And again, when we talk about the shapes, we talk about um, about certain part in our drawing that is created with the closed line like here and then we can fill it with another color so our shape will be done with purple outline and pink color inside i'm sure that each of you has the um, markers and um, maybe two or three sharpies and highlighters we always have yellow highlighter at home right usually we have also pink and and uh, green one so that should be enough for us to create our pisanka or our easter egg see here i'm going almost almost done the first flower right so i still have to think about the center for it let's see here and the other one is coming here. If you have um, Sharpies, you can decide that, for example, you can do the same uh, shape. You can color the shape with the um, other with, with Sharpie, not with uh, and not with the uh, uh, highlighter. Okay, so now I want to go with yellow inside of those beautiful of this beautiful flower so you see here i'm going notice i'm going on the top of the uh polka dots here and that's okay because i will come back to them in the second yeah so you see my flower is already there notice what is happening here see how nice it looks and then i can come with orange color here and i think with orange color i will apply the dots there were my circles are marked you see so here i will have my beautiful flower the first one now i have to think about the other 
shape. So I will use this time black and I want to make a nice strong outline for my leaves and for my here stamp. Okay, so here I'm going. You see, I'm going here very nice, a little bit stronger here on this side here, a little bit stronger on this one. Okay, if you need to improve the line, like for example, I do definitely need to improve this line here. I don't feel bad about it, I'm just going with second layer, right? You see here, good. Now, I'm turning my egg here. You see, even just keeping the uh, Sharpie in my hand, and just turning slowly the egg will allow me to create quite precise line. Here we go. Here we go. You see, wow, almost done. And what we need to do once this will, once the lines will be completed, who can tell me, please? Mm-hmm. What we have to do? I didn't hear it. Yeah, you are right. We have to come inside with the green color. Now, for the green color, I think I will be okay with using the, the highlighter. So you see here, oh la, that looks really good, you see? Highlighter is coming here. And do you think that we should also color the stamp? I, I think so, I think so. So I'm going here, you see, I'm turning the egg. I'm turning the egg and then I'm just going here, there where I have the leaves. I want to come to them, you see? Again, I'm going here. And that's what I will have here. Another egg. Another one here. Another one. And that's what we have here. You see? Beautiful. Now, with our other uh, flower. Because what we have right now, we have one flower here on the top of the egg. In the center of the egg, we have nice vine or stem with the leaves. And actually, I wanted to show you what I can also do here to the stem to make it looking more interesting. So I'm using Sharpie. And with the Sharpie, I can come and create a, a little bit more precise shape of the leaves. So I put one vein, maybe two on one side, one on the other. You see of the big vein here. And this, the leaves look more interesting, right? We just ha have to have more details, that's all. Okay, one, two, one. And we have the last two leaves. One, two, you see, one. And then one, two, one, ha, 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 done. Okay, since I like the colors, I will create something rounded here. You see, one circle, maybe another circle here that I will, as you can guess, fill with a color or colors we decide later on when we will see our coloristic composition and when i talk about coloristic composition or color composition i mean how uh, all the colors were in harmony right so for example on this side here i will consider applying hmm which color should i use here Pink, we already used pink, so I'm not so sure if pink would be the best one here, but I think yellow would be a good choice, okay? So what I want to do, I'm coming here and I want to show you the difference between uh, the use of Sharpie and highlighter, right? So here I'm coming with Sharpie, right? And I want to show you how our highlighter will work so we will decide what will be better oh, oh that is actually very nice look at this you see that is even brighter and nicer maybe we can combine both of them why not right so you see we'll combine both i'm applying this color which is neon yellow color here right and then i'm coming here and then what i will be doing I will use my Sharpie again and I will come inside slightly, slightly changing the color towards more natural yellow, okay? So you see here. Now from there, I have to decide about the outline for my flower and I'm not so sure which color to use, but I think I will use this brown, copper brown color. I think it should be okay. So I'm going inside Oh, that will look like a sunflower. Look at this. So here we are. And then I'm coming here to the patterns to outline them. You see here, another one here, another one there. 
see I apply another one here and do you see there's just the last one is left here so now what I want to have I want to have dots see it's slightly different than on this side here those those are more circles and a little bit bigger here will be really dots 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 and I think I will use another color here tell me please which color to use I have a little bit of time to make the decision or maybe even let me see actually this will be okay here like this so you see on the spot I'm changing my decision so I'm making the center here this is of this color here and then I'm placing maybe maybe I'll put the orange one here inside here okay so you see that will be my flower here now from there I have to think you see how nice it looks my pisanka here or my easter egg I have all those different colors but I think I need to have some of the um, dots here as well so I'm just applying here inside of this green color little bit of orange and that's again I use the highlighter nothing else you see here oh I have them already so fast Hoo -hoo. now what about when I reverse the process and I actually apply the blue here inside of the orange circles so I have another one here you see and I should probably place another one here how does it look like oh I'm sorry you don't see anything so I have it there and then I have to make the decision what I will place inside here maybe the lighter blue I have this blue this sharpie you can use highlighter guys see here that will be, look quite nice you see here here and then I will have another one here okay so when you look now at my flower you know what I also want to have this outline applied here that will look good you see always like something new okay so that will be my pisanka see a pisanka that reminds me on spring and summer of happy ha using happy colors right now we are at home a little bit bored right now I will show you another pisanka here what I can do with it and this time I just will show you a couple of very simple tricks using just geometrical shapes right so here I have a circle I have another circle and I will follow with one line here I will follow with another line connect that con the, those lines will connect two centers right those two circles on the top oh my goodness on the top of my egg yeah on one and another side okay top and the bottom okay here we are you see here another line another line here will come and we will have another line coming here then from there I think that I can come here with another shape like this perfectly in the center every second one right so you see it's just my imagination I decide what I want to do right you see I have two spots here so I will do something else something unusual so you see here and then I want to fill everything with the colors okay so when I think about the colors I will use a sharpie and I would use the black sharpie here to get my lines very fast you see here we are going here with one circle we have another circle here and when it's necessary we can make it wider you see I'm moving actually the egg now around my marker it seems that this marker moving but truly that is the egg okay here we are a little bit wider okay then I want to go to my lines so what I'm doing here you see sharpie would be very good for it because it creates very strong lines so one here another one here right and I will have another line here I tend to move towards the left side too much and sometimes I noticed that you can see what I'm doing huh I really have to watch the screen my iPad because I'm recording this lesson using the iPad what you are able to see mm -hmm. so you see another line is coming here another one will come here I will not cross through the this oval shape oval shape well I call it oval shape because it's not the circle 
it's wider on one side and narrower on the other one okay so that's what we have already here and guys to make it very simple you can you can fill the the space with the colors here so we go with highlighter here this is not working as well as i thought Ooh. okay i use this highlighter Come. so you see this bright highlighter will come in this section here okay here and i will use it for every second shape right so i have one already here done you see how bright it is i leave this one here the way it is and i'm going to the second one right away okay here i have the second one covered then what i have to do again i leave one empty waiting for another color and then i have the third shape covered with the neon yellow color of the highlighter which i'm sure you have at home okay and then we have those two you know what i will do just a little bit of the color here on the side you see i have to improvise because i don't have enough i should calculate actually i should count how many shapes can i put there but i didn't and now i have to suffer a little bit okay so i have my pink color here so what i want to do with this pink i want to place it uh, in some of those shapes so you see i will cover the shape here then i will move to another one okay so maybe this one is quite big so maybe i use i use half of it and then i place another color there okay so you see easy you don't need to have line another line just by eyeballing we call it you will decide where this line will come and where this pink shape will be present okay so here we are and i think i want to place it here actually i like this pink here very much i have to now think about another color that i can use and which color do you think i should be using next to it do you think blue would be okay hmm we still have this color i want to use another color here and i have to think if the this would be a good color for it maybe the green what do you think oh let us put the green okay so you see green will come here very good you see we have green color here again i will just highlighter another one will come here right see we have another one another shape covered with the neon green color and then we have to look if there's anything left oh no now we can easily decide for the colors on the sides and then remember always close your uh, markers or sharpies because we don't want to waste them now i will go to my um, uh, sharpies and i will think about using some of the colors to create interesting patterns here okay so i have the shape here now i want to add something here and it's up to you you see almost like a flower here right so i'm creating the see here additional shapes inside of the shapes created with the here highlighters so you see here and i create another one here it's the, those those additional now shapes are up to you you are the artists so you make the decision what you want to have i have to think out figure out which color i want to have over there but you see then i'm going on the other side and i think i can do very much the same so i'm going here one shape you see another shape here another shape here will come another one here another one there another one here you see we are doing it quite fast we are speedy gonzalez's here right because we want to do all those 12x right okay you know what i like this color so i'm also applying it here this this purplish it's light purple color actually that's how it appears right here giving outline to those white shapes and maybe i leave this white just exposed like the way it is because it looks quite nice though i don't i don't want to see the lines of the uh, pencil I don't think pencil looks nice on this egg it looks like we would not know what we are doing so you see here we have it covered okay so now you can see for now let me see where is the cover of my 
Markov, my Sharpie. Now I'm thinking, what else can I add here? And I'm looking for some other markers. Oh, I have a nice highlighter here. Ooh, la la, look at this. Okay, so I'm thinking here that I can create another shape. You see? Maybe a nice flower here inside, right? Huh. You see, I can do the same here. And then I can inside of those flowers and fill them with certain color when you want to, right? You see? So it's, again, spontaneously, you, you find out the ideas, what you really want to do with it, right? So I like this color here. So I create another, oh, where I'm going, you see here, I will be going around and I leave just the white spot or tip on the top, you see? I will do the same on this side here. See, so maybe a circle here. And then the space between two, one circle, oh, here and another one will be filled. So you see, I have lots of colors already here. And I think I need to have something else here. So I'm coming here and I think I can fill the space here a little bit stronger. See, so again, until we don't use the color on the top, we don't know what we will. Oh, we have forgot about the flower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to go back to it. Okay. So I like what is happening here. And actually, let me see. I would even go here and cover it more with the color. But this marker doesn't want to stick to it so nice, you see? So I place another one here, a little bit more. Not bad, you see? So maybe every second can be done with additional colors on the top, right? You see here? And then, oh, we have one left here, right? So that's what we will be doing here right another one and another one will come here now the last thing which i want to do is to apply some of the colors here see to create another flower and this way guys we have two eggs pisanki easter eggs or pisanki created here when you look at them they are colorful each of them is done slightly differently and that's what i like you see so up to your taste you have plenty of eggs in such a package there are 12 of them, or you can choose six, color six, make a nice basket. In the basket, place your eggs, and there will be a beautiful pisanki or eastern eggs. Have a good time working on this project. Enjoy it very much, and see you next time. Bye!